be like water. Be like water. How many of us have heard this expression before? It's an expression that is attributed to Bruce Lee, who I'm sure came up with this in the context of uh, martial arts, teaching it, practicing it. Of course, this presentation is not about Lee, it's not about martial arts. It is about uncovering the aspects that make up a few Chicano. But be like water. What does that make you think of? Well, let's examine water. What is it? It is a liquid. As such, it embodies three basic qualities. It is fluid. It is flexible. And it can remain in motion unless obstructed. Fluidity is defined as that which is continuous, that which is without form, that which is pliable. Imagine water in a different state of being, such as when it is not fluid, when it is like solid, when it is ice. It's trapped. It is confined. But it is only when it becomes fluid that it can start slowly trickling off the iceberg, freeing itself. The definition of flexibility, flexible, is that which can be bent without injury or damage. That which is responsive to change. That which is adaptable. Now let's go back to the image of that water slowly trickling off the iceberg. Eventually it pulls and gains momentum and starts to flow. But as it's going down the slope, of the mountain, it hits upon a boulder. Now what does it do then? Does it just stop? Does it decide it can't go no more? No, it adapts. It adapts to the boulder. For a moment there, as it meets the boulder, it becomes a boulder, it engulfs it, it surrounds it. It is the boulder for a brief moment. And while it is consuming the boulder, it, at the, the same time it's a symbiotic relationship. It is cleansing itself as well. That's how water cleans itself, through cycles, through motion, right? But because it is fluid and it is flexible, it manages to leave that shape in such a different shape, and it leaves the boulder behind, continuing on its journey. Motion is defined as that which is capable of changing position, that which has the ability or the power to move, the power to move, which is prom prompted from within, it's an impulse, an inclination. The focus on the power to move, there implies decision, there implies a, a wanting. Well, let's think about water again. Water might not have the capacity to think, but it has momentum on its side. When it is fluid and flexible, it can gain momentum and it can stay in constant motion, no matter what the obstacle. 
it embodies the obstacles, it becomes them, it uses them, and then it leaves them behind and continues in search of new obstacles. On down to the river, like the Rio Grande, on down into the ocean, and then to begin a new cycle through the clouds to come back as pure water. In such a way, <clears throat> the fluid Chicano must be like water. Fluid in the sense that we are open-minded so that we can break free of these definitions of what it is to be Chicano, to be Americano, to be Hispanic. Those are just things designed to trap us. We must be flexible. We must be able to embrace change without getting stuck. So you see the boulder, engulf it, use it, and leave it behind. And we must always remain in motion, seeking new heights, experiences, and ways of being and thinking. That is what it is to be a fluid Chicano. And with that, I would like to add one more thing, a poem that I wrote called Chicano Reborn. The fluid Chicano is reborn daily. He excuses himself in front of no one. He says goodbye, but then remains. He says so long, then he sings a song. He says farewell, and yet he returns. Chicano of the ages, who faces all situations, his face metamorphoses. He's like the waves of the ocean, now coming, now going, ebb and flow. Upon landfall today, his form is light and clear. Upon landing tomorrow, will be frothy and murky. In the waters of his oceans, there lie a multiplicity of essences, consciences living and some extinct, yet the spirit within his wet body is eternal. Wet, back, flow of the mestizo Chicano born of foreign womb, pushing him into this realm where we exist, this realm where we greet him with pain in his hands and his gift. Chicano is the Indian who's remained. Chicano is the immigrant streams which never cease. Chicano is the fortune stuck in between. Chicano is the sun itself. Though not from here, the sun grants his much needed labor and near anonymity and also never leaves, yet always says goodbye.